Well, it seems I ran out of time. I think my phone records for 30 minutes. So now I'm in the exposition halls. And this is a artist from Tulumania, new, newer clearly. Art's a big thing. There's art fairs everywhere. I'm really humbled. I'm really, really humbled to see understand that the cities have built cathedrals to their gods. And, and we got guys that put six rocks in a circle and call it culture. That's just fucked. They're fucking wackos. It's like, they're like those, those, those things, you know, with the egg and the hole and the bread and you cook it. In bread. Eggs in bread. A bunch of in bread. This is culture, written languages. Really, culture. Doing a lot of stumbling, like I'm getting old. wear glasses and I can read shit. I'll have to come back. I don't mind that. Let me get my fifth trick here. Yeah, I can handle that. Yeah, you have to honor your new artists. Not everything's about the old artists. For sure. Not everything's about the old artists. Yeah, yeah simplicity. Yeah, simplicity. Okay, we'll carry on to the next one. There's always something to see. Revolution. In the slave, Catholics. The Spanish guy drinking in the fat. And the others are working in the poor kids. In revolution. It's carved in wood. Relief. Yeah. Overlord, Spanish, subjugating people. They're coming out of the jungle with machetes and knives and dead, murdered. Yeah. Keep going. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not a big art guy, but I sure do like talent. I have a whole lot of people as uh, friends that I peek in on that are artists, musicians, and artists, and all kinds of crazy people that have talent. I got no talent. I got a big fucking brain, but my talent is the talent of thinking, a philosopher. And thinking is a, is a lost art. Yeah, the power of the brain is art. You need imagination to move society forward. The imagination becomes structure. 
I'm a thinker. I'm not a finisher. I'm a thinker. I can conceptualize. I can envision. I can see where it goes. I can lay the foundations. I'm a very good helper to get us there. But eventually my brain tires and I want to go to the next thing. Look at this. <laughs> I'd almost say that's bamboo. And an open air auditorium with a. <clears throat> I don't know what tree that is. Fucking thick up there. They're hanging like grapes. Cool. Sure does look like bamboo though. There's some theory that um, northern North American Indians, ours in Canada, and there's genetic tracing to like seven or nine DNA strands from the Mongolians. Thus, I call them Mongolians lots, and that pisses people off. <clears throat> but fuck them. But once we get further down here, south, we have mixing with the Phoenicians. Yeah, Phoenicians. We have mixing with Koreans. Yeah, Koreans. On the, on the Pacific further down, there's mixing from the uh, Australozoids. Those are the people from the islands, Samoa and whatnot. They were canoed across the ocean. Um, the Mayans, I spent a year and a half in the high Arctic. And the Mayans sure do look a lot like Inuit. I have to say, except for not quite, but lots like it. When I was in Cabo, you could have walked in any drum circle or whatever powwow they call them, and they was identical. They were, they look identical to our Canadians. But here it's a bit different. They're uh, smaller, they're um, smaller people, like height-wise, and um, clearly of a different genetic uh, makeup. I'm sure there was crossbreeding, but our Plains Indians are they're from uh, one of the Indian strands. Like fucking family trees that are telephone pole. Sorry guys. It's not racist because this is fucking culture. There's new hip culture. Look at this. New hip Mexican culture. Pants hanging down, belt undone, fake gold and silver. Yeah. Somebody dolled her all up. Looks like she's working on, uh, what's that? Dating sites or whatever. Only fans. <laughs> but it's culture. <clears throat> yeah, it's culture. <clears throat> any civilization that built cities to rival any, any European city in it, and thousands of years before has got some something to something about them. Oh, this uh, one is closed, and now we're back. Jade, Jade was a big thing. Bird feathers was a big thing. Fancy frickin' bait, bird feathers. Culture. Culture. You see that as culture? I don't see that as culture. That's a. Oh, it doesn't come in. But this is uh, reproduction ish of. 2,000 year old drawing. And in Canada, you got six rocks in a circle called a tree, tree, uh, a teepee ring. Yeah, a teepee ring where they lived under dead animals with like six sticks up in the air. Six sticks up in the air and put a dead animal on it. And then, or a couple of dead animals. Call that a house. I mean, shit in it all winter and then move. 
just like they do as shitty tenants, shit all over our houses, and then move. The lot's ending. This is culture. That's culture. It takes some skill to make a house. We don't have any of that. We don't have any of that. Not in Saskatchewan. We got six rocks in a circle called a teepee ring. A couple places like that. One place down in the big money is Cinnaboy area where somebody scratched something on a rock. And then a cliff where they jumped over, the animals jumped over the cliff. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. Here's a kitty cat. Aww. Cats. There's seven different kinds of wild cat in uh, Central America. From mountain lions, pumas, jaguars, ocelots. Um, they got cool little cats. They got big cats. Um, yeah, cats are a thing. But they're not like the Egyptians. They didn't worship the cats. Jaguar was worshipped, but it was a powerful worship, worship animal. So that's I have yet to see something where they're, um, yeah, I wish they had more about the agriculture. They did something, they would grow corn, and then they'd plant beans in the same hole, and the beans would grow up as the corn grew up to wrap around the beans, and then they would grow squash in the same hole, and the squash would spread out and keep the weeds down, so they could grow Symbiotic crops together. That's a real thing. That's a big tree. That's a really big tree. Yeah, everything's kind of water washed now. That's a big motherfucking tree. I'll show you a bigger one. I'll take a picture of a bigger one. I've seen several. Probably hundreds of years old in these domes. I'm in awe. I'm totally in awe. A written language, track the stars, numbering system, a calendar, cities built, aqueducts, grain storage, symbiosis, planting of crops, art. And we got in Saskatchewan. Six rocks in a circle called a teepee ring, a couple of those. One place around a Cinnaboy, they scribed something in the fuck squiggly line. Like, fuck, just fucking retarded. And then a buffalo cliff. I don't know. So sure, somebody will read this or hear this and send me about another dozen things that they know that the fucking Indians did. But they didn't build houses. They lived in dead animals. Imagine the stink living in a dead animal. They didn't have tan and have dry and hide. Dry the tan to hide with. Tea wasn't a thing there. I'm disillusioned, but I'm enthralled here, so. Oh, my First Nation peeps in Canada know your role. You're the weaker cousins. You're 14,000 off nine DNA strands, and that's called inbreeding. And regardless, you walk out and even here, you got guys passed out in those shoes. Socks aren't dirty, so somebody stole these shoes. <laughs> 